and Max. Yeah, yeah, so Max will just out. edit it out. Yeah, yeah, and um, that way we can get used to having it on and forget that it's on. Yeah, love that. Oh shit, I was gonna do a new voice though. Anyway, oh, so. Too late. <laughs> Yeah. So am I st- I'm still Lortney. Can I just be Lortney, L- not Lortney Cove? Because I can't say Lortney Cove without yeah. just falling over Dude. myself. So I just want to be Lortney. You don't want to just be Joe. I can. Just be I was Joe. thinking about that too. I was like, do why? Do we need codes? Why do we think we need codes? <laughs> I don't know. I was back in the innocent days. Yeah, a week that was ago. back when anything was possible. Yeah, before now we're learning dated. our limits. <laughs> exactly. Should we just go Joe and Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like any kind of pseudonym is going to wear thin after a That's true. short amount of time. That's true. I still kept the the note, though, the Lortney note that you left on the door. Oh. That's now pinned, oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's pinned the to the shelves in the kitchen. Yeah, that's for the archives, for sure. Add it to the files. Um, I have very interesting – I mean, this we didn't even do this on purpose. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, kind of – I've been writing about it all week. Not all week. I've been writing about it all week. I'm going to know that. Uh, do I always talk like this? I'm just like, it's only now that we're recording that I'm trying to pay attention to how I tell stories, and I am circular <laughs> and dull. Hey, Thanks welcome to episode one of Sugar Facts. Should we do this? Yeah, let's get let's get this started. Okay. Okay. This is. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be good. Okay. It was. I, I've had it before. Okay. But I always, I've never been able to quite do it the same. Okay. Um, so so first, <coughs> I'll, we'll say, hey, welcome to the Facts oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. episode Sorry. one, and then you walk us through the shots, because it, it looks good. So I wish the listeners could, <laughs> we'll get into the group, we'll get into the group. I wish, our, I wish our fans could see what you've done here, it looks great. It doesn't really look that does. good though, does it? It's, it's just it's sort cool. of I'm not sure you can cut. sell it. It looks like cucumbers, and it's <laughs> not. Covered in dirt. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, this is a uh, Just for the listeners at home, uh... Brian set up two lovely shot glasses. I can see them just nice and chilled. Very chilled. And then you've got some interesting sliced limes. Yeah. <laughs> this is you before drinking. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Well, that you've I get better. I, I get better as oh, I okay. get drunk. More of a steady hand yeah, with the yeah. alcohol. I think that's a sign of alcoholism. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and surprise, then, <laughs> surprise. And then he's just um, gone out to the backyard and got some soil. Well, you just know what I like to do is I like to I like to sort of tie in today's or this week's episode with a little bit of a callback to the previous one. Okay. Okay, so the dirt and the salt yeah. has been replaced though with uh, coffee grounds and oh, coffee sugar. Grounds. Oh, sugar. <clears throat> so, and then that's because the sugar factory. Delicious. Yeah. What's so, the dirt got to do with last week? Uh, what was uh, you salted the your garden? I insulted your garden. You no, you did not insult anyone's garden. Oh, salted. Oh, I salt. I salted Sorry. my own garden. Yes, no, you're right. You know what I've done instead? I've been hunting snails in the middle of the night. Yeah. Everyone yes. wins. I'm not even kidding. I go out and check every hour before I go to sleep, uh-huh. and all the snails I find, I put in my compost. Bin. Okay. Pros: and, yeah. Snails live. Good for the compost. Major negative uh, that I read online only after putting about six snails in the compost mm. bin, it actually creates an ideal environment for them to reproduce. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to right, end, exactly. end up with Coming one. out of the cold, boys. <laughs> let's let's go to the snail brothel. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what I've done, and I'm just going to end up with so many fucking yeah. snails. They're going to make their way up to your house. That's fine. I don't have a garden. Give it a year or two. Yeah, <laughs> I gave true. up a long time ago on a garden. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So enjoy. Wow. enjoy. I, I, it's funny. I do have a compost. Just trying to warn you. You know, if you were even thinking about growing lettuce, no, don't, because you've got about two years until the snails make their way they up to your way. house. <laughs> and it's going to be very ominous too. Every time we're driving <laughs> home, like, hey, Moose, is that? Are those more? Are there more snails than there were last are week? Snail trails getting closer <laughs> to our gate. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Um, yeah. Welcome to Sugar Facts. Welcome to Sugar Facts, Episode One. Episode One. I'm. Brian. I'm Joe. Yeah. What are we drinking? Um, so this is. It doesn't have a name. Oh, cool. It was never. It was never named. It might oh. actually. It might have a name. I just don't know what it is. Maybe its birth mother knows its name. Maybe. Maybe we can call it. Maybe we can christen it something. Okay. Let's taste it and Let's then taste it and think see. about it. Yeah. Um, so it's just chilled vodka. Um, Lovely. With the with what what was meant to be a really finely <laughs> sliced like <laughs> paper thin slice of. Lime with the oh, rhymes God, and everything else. All of that is vodka? You haven't put anything else in there? No. Oh, Christ. And then on top of that, um, 
really sort of like chef level uh, slice of lime that I've done. Mm. I've sprinkled some sugar. Mm. And on top of that, I've put some coffee grounds. I love it. I can't wait to taste it. The idea it. is that you just you eat all that in one go. And then take the and shot. And take the shot. Okay. Shove it all in our mouth and yep. then take a shot. Yep. And oh, you okay. know what? I'll take the... I'll take the... I don't mind. Uh, the, the, this one's weird. That actually looked like it had more... Um, more rind. Lime flesh. I think mine's got more rind to it. Also, these lemons suck. So, <laughs> disclosure. Awesome. I should grow some lime. Are there lemons or limes? It's not important. All right. So, I guess we... Well, yeah, we're not going to be able to hear that, though. Well, we'll clink the glasses. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Episode one, Episode sugar one. facts. Oh, I forgot. How much do I chew before I take the shot? A fair bit. Okay. That's not bad, though, right? Should I go closer to the mic so I can hear me <laughs> chewing? <laughs> I'm finding this rather delicious, to be honest. I'm, I always don't want to take the Yeah, this is a good snack. Isn't it? Do <laughs> <laughs> <Should> we sell this? <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Episode one. <clears throat> that is. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy, I was vodka. Hmm. Mm. What do you think? Um. Chewy. Um, okay. But hey, Joe. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and tell our listeners how they become a member? That's a great question. Yeah. So if you want to become a member of the podcast at the moment, uh, it just means that you write an email uh, to our email address, sugarfacts at mosa.com. What's that? Mosa Mosa is the name of my company. So, um, Joe, what is the the sugar fact that you have for this week? My sugar fact for this week? Uh, Before you start, though, I have uh, an epiphany. Oh, did you? I did. Um, And, well, is that the right word? I mean, I had a realization, at any rate, about Mm -hmm. myself, which is Mm. that... um, I don't know if I want to congratulate you on that. Sometimes they're hard for me when I have those. um, No, I I don't want to ever get a disease. Oh. Yeah, wow. I know that sets me apart. Yeah, you know from wow. the, the, the normal been run. Of, yeah, well, yeah. you know, and then, yeah, that's how I roll. Um, yeah, I do not want to get a disease. And um, did you know that there are a number of, I mean, absolutely fucking horrific diseases out there? Really? Yeah. Tell us about them. Well, there's this one. <laughs> This is it's fucking terrible. No, it's not. There's Back yourself. This one, this is, there's Back this yourself. one called tree man disease. Tree man disease. Have you heard of this? No. No. Really? No, actually no. Okay. And I love that I have it. This is great. We are off to a great start. Yeah. Tree man disease. Uh, there's an, the, the actual name of it is Epidermodysplasia verusiformis. Mm-hmm. EV. I would have guessed that. You want to just walk around and just talk about EV? Yo. Tree man disease, or as I like to call it, EV. EV. Um, so anyway, what it is, is, uh, it's warts, basically. It's just warts that go completely fucking mad. And, well, I've got some pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah I yeah. do know what this is. Is this, the, oh, is this like gross. the elephant man? Is it the same thing? It's Ooh, not exactly boy. like that. Ooh, oh, it's just, it's gruesome. So, okay, this is like the famous one. Oh, no, I'm going to save that one for... God, this is horrific. Oh God. All right. Well, so this is what. Uh, shit, what's happening? Isn't um, this one of those ten things that you're not supposed to Google? Oh Christ! Oh, is it? I don't know. I, well, I can see why. Um, man, yours is so much better than mine already. So this is a picture. This is a, a, a an unfortunate man who's who's been afflicted on oh, his hands. Oh, the guy. He's so his hands are just. Yeah. So they obviously you can see why they call it tree man. Tree man. Right? But those are just they're, they're warts, and then they just fucking go mad. I just feel and, like even uh, halfway to this condition is when you start thinking the guy should probably see a doctor. <laughs> you think that's what happened? Well, you know, I just, I mean, I'm speaking from a position of privilege, but like I, I wouldn't have let it even get to a quarter of that before I have a photo taken. In I'm, I'm assuming that he probably went to the doctor long before this. Okay. I and think, they, what, is and there they no like, treatment? Is there no treatment? Oh, there's an <gasps> ointment. There's still no, there's no, fuck that. There's, there's no ointment on that. I've had like cuts on my body yeah. where I'm like I'm just gonna let my body heal that ointment's gonna do shit 
That's horrendous. It's horrific, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the poor guy. Isn't there surgery? No, there is. There, some of them you can do a little bit. I think there might. I don't have that picture, but I think there is a picture of him after this where it's significantly better. Okay. But then I think it comes back. So, I mean, at that point, do you know just Andrew's hate your well, hands? Well. I mean, no, yeah. I, he can't even use them. That's a good, that's a good solution. Um, also, um, also what happens is that um, Brian can't use his phone. Yeah, that's that's fun. Um, no, what happens? Square, press square. <laughs> it's not always the square. That's not always the answer. Okay. Square. <laughs> so, um, oh, I was gonna say, on top of just the horror of that, um, you're also then highly susceptible to skin cancer. Right. Yeah. So that's how that's how you would usually die, actually. Uh-huh. Like you, you, you get that, get you. and then you just fucking so so you, you go through that horror, and then it's like oh yeah now you have skin cancer now you have melanoma yeah. not from sunbaking on the beach would would have been a fun way to get it oh my Is god really a fun way to get it oh, wow yeah. this guy's yeah. just got like really horrendous warts on his face yeah wow yeah and apparently they hurt and, oh they hurt uh, yeah. too and it's oh, just horrific so the last. Uh, Some people just have shitty fucking lives. Yeah, man. They scream out. Well, it's genetic, too. This is it's genetic. genetic. Yeah, That's yeah. nice. What's that? Yes. Oh, come yeah. on. Here so are the sugar so facts. You know, we don't. Sugar facts are trying to make Go for it. the cheap, cruel I'm joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I mean, that's a shitty fucking life. Yeah. This one is almost something kind of beautiful about this one, though. Ew. As As gruesome as it is, and it, it is gruesome. Ew. So, there's that. It's a great photo. Yeah, it's a really oh, good photo. Oh, on his face, too. Wow. It's a woman, I think. Oh, her. I think. Um, I, I think it's a little bit... Boy, oh, boy. A little bit cruel for them to have stuck her in that room with all the, like, tendrils and vines. Yeah, and they've done that on purpose. Yeah, someone, like, Someone's like, you know what this would look great yeah. in? You know what would really bring out the warts on your hand? Yeah. The wart room. Yeah. Hey, tree lady, come here. <laughs> Come on in. We put all these branches around. Hey, hey, we got the war room up and running. The room's ready for you to go. Yeah, so um, I don't Lights, want this. camera, warts, action. I do not want to ever get that. That's horrendous. No, no tree man disease for me. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Neither. Yeah. That was... Where where does this normally It, it seems happen? like it's weirdly it's like... like yeah, it, it, like around there, like Indonesia, India, Papua New Guinea... Down okay. there, where life is already kind of fucking Yeah, cold. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think every time. These places are all, these diseases always pop up in places where life's already kind of Yeah, up, yeah it's never you like, you know, you upper Manhattan. You don't need a new challenge. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm pretty Hollywood. sure there are some New Yorkers that could do with some tree man disease. Just to sort of bring them back down to earth. Is it going? Max, heads up. We're doing mine round two. Take one. Take two. Oh, take two. Oh, and Max is our sign <laughs> Max, take two on the sound sleeping sickness. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. He doesn't like he when doesn't you say like that. He doesn't like when silenced. you say that. Okay. So, what I have prepared for this evening. <laughs> thank you for being so supportive. Oh, my God. I'm just going to get close to the mic because yeah, I'm yeah. ready. Cool. I need to change my voice as well. <clears throat> <clears throat> last week, I heard, I heard my recording from last week. I was like, I have the most annoying voice I've ever heard in my life. I'm not nodding. I'm not nodding in agreement. Yes, I'm are. nodding in empathy because I felt the same way. I hated way. it. I hated it. I okay, I'm just, change, I'm just like fucking channel forty year old me. You know, like just like just get into it, man. Do you like the like okay. the smoky sort of like, hmm. hey, here on sugar facts. <laughs> Have you heard about sleeping okay. sickness? It's yeah. horrible. It's fucking okay. a nightmare. All right. So my disease that I prepared for a disease. <laughs> Shit, come back! <laughs> no, uh, for our listeners at home, um, we were laughing at something else. Okay, so. <laughs> so, this disease, you're not gonna wanna listen to I this. Already, right? I'm yeah. already on the edge of my fucking okay. seat. This disease is called African trypanosomiasis, sleeping sickness, which is an insect borne parasitic disease of humans and animals. Transmitted usually by the Brian uterus. No, <laughs> the T fly. Oh right, no, 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 no. <laughs> the T T fly. T T fly. That's how you say it, right? T T fly. Yeah. So it occurs in two stages. The first stage is fever, headaches, joint pains, and can itching. you back up for just one second? Sure. You mentioned this is 
common in animals and people. humans. <coughs> yeah. Is it, is it like animals, animals and, and humans? Yeah. How do they know yeah, yeah, that yeah, animals yeah. have a headache? That's a better question. No, because the animal will say, like, can you pass me a pan at all? I have a headache. <laughs> they don't. Okay. That's fine. Not in my experience. How does your dog do you request, your dog request dog medication? Do That's what Shabu says that to me all the time. He's like, hey, uh, my hips are hurting. <laughs> Fucking hand over the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. What? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's trying to think of the American word for Panadol. Chlorophyll. Yeah, not that. Why not? But, I yeah. certainly don't know it. No, I don't no. even know what you're talking Max, about. Max, cut that out. That cut was that a out. bad joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it occurs in two stages. The first stage is characterized by fever, headaches, joint pains, and itching. Hmm. The fever is intermittent, lasting from a day <clears throat> to a week, separated by intervals of a few days to a month or longer. Uh, Wouldn't that be a problem? Because you might have a fever tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. And then you don't, and then it breaks or whatever. You're like, I'm over it. I've and then you, and then, it. And then what if you had another fever, just happened yeah. to have another fever, then... A month later. You have no goddamn idea. But you could just go to the doctor at that point and say, do I have tz fly disease? <laughs> or sleeping no, sickness, as they call it. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is the thing. So this is why I ended up doing this one, because I was like, it just... Taps into all my paranoias. Yeah, it it's sounds like, it's like it's all it's of just the symptoms and things symptoms. that we all have. Anyway, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, but except this one will kill you not immediately, but over years. Oh. So incredible. Uh, Welcome fun. to the party. <laughs> so because the parasites invade your circulatory and lymphatic systems, victims experience a severe swelling of the lymph nodes, often to tremendous sizes. <laughs> How big, How big are they? Tremendous sizes. Ten centimeters? No one knows. If left untreated, I'm, I'm definitely. I am actually picturing like a basketball. Yeah, you're on, on a like net. a the basketball the size of a tumor. At least at that point, it gives it away. Like if if my fear about this disease is you don't know you have it, yeah, I feel yeah. like a basketball in the neck. I think something's is wrong. A, is an I think something's wrong. Is an indicator. If left untreated, the disease overcomes the host's defenses and can cause damage. Emotional like anemia, defenses. Physical at this point. Okay, um, if left untreated, the disease overcomes the host's physical defenses mm. and can cause more damage like anemia, endocrine, cardiac, and kis- kidney dysfunctions. The second phase is the crazy phase, the neurological phase. Mm. And it begins when the parasite invades the central nervous system by passing through the blood barrier. What is the blood barrier, Joe? It's um, the barrier of blood around your brain. Is that a true thing? Do you want to We've got a physical therapist here. We can, we can, we can. Uh, let's double check that. Yes. You have a, <laughs> you have a barrier of blood surrounding your brain. Brain. Yeah, because the blood is toxic to your brain. Ooh, that's a fact. Really? Yeah. yeah. Blood is toxic to your brain. Blood is toxic. So to there's your no brain. blood in my brain right no, now. No, it's it's Ooh, cerebral I spinal think fluid. Maybe you have, I mean, but no, not consciously. Would you be Tell Would you be okay um, telling us your name and and? <laughs> <laughs> And your and your address? No, yeah. no, What's no, no. Social just, security. Now? Just like give us some. Could you give us some credit card? Info? <laughs> this is it's, it, dude. Are it's just serious? paperwork. It's paperwork. It's yeah. Not a big give us deal. your name and your qualifications. <laughs> it's me. No, I don't have. I don't even have my little physical therapy. It takes two weeks after I pass the boards, which was it. it'll. Okay, it, we don't have. No, no, you can say that. anything at this. No, point. Literally. No, anything. that is true. It is true. But I don't have my. Look, we flew you in here. We flew you in here based on the fact that you just graduated. It's our resident doctor. She's going to be a regular She's going to be, she'll be here forever. Uh, at this stage, <laughs> disruption of the sleeping cycle takes place. Yeah. Infected persons experience a disorganized and fragmented 24-hour rhythm of the sleep-wake cycle. It's a fun sentence. Resulting in daytime sleep episodes and nighttime periods of wakefulness, which... Sounds very familiar. Naps and waking yeah. up in the middle of the night. Do you have sleeping sickness? You gotta ask yourselves. Have ask you taken? When was the last yourself. time you guys took a nap? When was the last time you a nap? And do you think that might be the sign of your death? Uh, <laughs> other neurological symptoms include confusion, tremor, general muscle weakness, hemiparesis. Am I saying that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Weakness on one really? entire side of the body. <laughs> Or paralysis of the limb. For the record, she nodded. I said it correctly. Parkinson-like <laughs> uh, <laughs> movements might arise 
due to non-specific movement disorders and speech disorders. Let's think about that. Can we pause for a second? Yeah. I just want to. I want to just sort of imagine that where. So you just said Parkinson's like Parkinson-like symptoms. Parkinson-like movements. Yeah. Right. So imagine that. Like you, you've got Parkinson's like movements going on, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh my god, I think I might have Parkinson's. Yeah. And you're shaking to, his Brian's shaking his hands yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Closer to the phone. That's better. <laughs> So maybe they can hear the yeah, there yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you go to the doctor and you're like, um, you don't even, I, I'm just, this is just a formality, but I have Parkinson's. Yeah. And then he's like, <laughs> formality. I'm just, FYI. yeah, I just want it written down. Yeah, you have Parkinson's. And then the doctor's the like, box. no, you don't. It's sleeping sickness. <laughs> it's ding, 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 ding. And then it, like cut to the scene where he's like grins at the camera. Like, no, you don't. You have sleeping sickness. <laughs> Classic phrase. Just what a sad moment that would be. Yeah. But it's not deadly. We'll get to that. Oh, is that right? Well, then why well, are we even talking about thinking it? Thinking what? Sorry that your elephant warts were deadly. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Other, other symptoms. Irritability, psychotic reactions, aggressive behavior, hmm. or apathy. One or the other, I Jesus, feel like. Uh, without stuff. treatment, the disease is invariably fatal, with progressive <laughs> mental deterioration leading to coma, systemic organ failure, and death. The most common strain will cause death after several years if left untreated. Years. So years of that stuff. That's a what a way to go. What yeah. are you guys doing tomorrow? Just thinking about this, right? <laughs> thinking about this. Next time you take a nap, think about the years of your life that you have left of psychotic behavior. <laughs> uh, okay. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Skip forward through some boring shit. So, let's fast forward to treatment mm. of the disease. So, in 1903, David Bruce identified the causative agent and vector, and the first effective treatment was introduced after seven years in 1910. Because it was an arsenic-based drug, blindness was a serious side effect. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a better reaction yeah, last time. <laughs> okay, We're on so the same page now here. to the modern modern treatment. Eflorthenine (DFMO) uh, was developed in the 1970s and was approved by the US FDA in 1990. Aventus, the company responsible for its manufacture, halted production in 1999 because there was no market for it in the West. Oh. Ooh, rich people don't want to buy it. So they cancelled it. Campaigners pushed for the company to reconsider. And then in 2000, the year 2000, a pharmaceutical company found out that it could also be used as a hair removal cream. And so production resumed. And in 2001, Aventus, in association with aid organizations in the World Health Organization, signed a five-year agreement to manufacture and donate the drug. So, yay! <laughs> Everything's great. So, but can so, you put that in, in your own words? In my own words. Yeah. Uh, in 2001, a... <laughs> Are you just going to say the same thing you just said? <laughs> so, basically... Pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies, no one likes them. Hippies don't like them. I assume you're in the same boat. We like all about Monsanto. I don't know. I, that was not a definitive uh, rejection of the big pharma. It's true. We like oh What's up, Carl? Colin, you like big pharma? Yeah, I'm actually here for... Um Oh shit, are you really? He's a no. big pharmaceutical company. He's in a- I can't tell you what it's called, but it's pretty big. <laughs> can we Say what? Guess? So anyway, oh. so basically, so, so last time we talked about this, I was talking about how uh, when I was studying, I did um, a bit about international intellectual property and how this is like a massive problem for like massive uh, deadly diseases in developing countries is a lot of the time a drug may exist that can help people but doesn't get manufactured because the rights are owned by wealthier companies based somewhere in the West. And if they can't make money off it, then they just like close down production. Basically, exactly this. So sleeping sickness is killing a lot of Africans. Mm. Um, and this American company says, yeah, but we can't make any money off the treatment. So they close down production. Then they discover a hair treatment cream. And so production opens again. Mm. But then at the same time, you know, God bless them, they signed a contract to manufacture and donate the treatment. So what would be the alternative to that model? Excellent question. Um, so, 
So in the module that I did, it was talking about how like licensing might be made more available. So in China and India specifically, mm. factories exist that can produce these drugs at like basically zero dollars. Mm. Like you can just produce these drugs very cheaply. HIV medication or malaria medication can be produced really cheaply, but uh, intellectual property makes it more expensive. So one way to do it would be to force, which is what they've done, is they force companies, like there's like an expiry date on their license. Mm. And so after a certain time, you have to let these cheaper factories be able to manufacture cheap drugs. Okay, so that 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 exists. So that they, exists. like you, you can be a dick, but only for like ten years, ten years. or whatever. So that's yeah, ten yeah. years of where a lot of people are dying. A lot of people are yeah. gonna die. Yeah, yeah. But the flip side of the argument is like, well, if you don't protect these whatever the mm. codes, well, the they always refer then no to one's like gonna come up with the R and D is like why, a big yeah, expense. Why would you spend all the money on the R and D? Is that true if you though? Can't make any money I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I don't know why that would be true because can't just government fund research? With all the money that the US government has right now? Yeah. Yeah, why don't they just channel it towards. In the military, it's more productive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Fine. Yeah, you got me on that one. Yeah, basically, it's a reallocation of resources, but right now the argument is if you're privatizing R&D, mm-hmm. then it should just be expected that you're also going to be privatizing the outcome of R&D. So it's not a public good. It's going to have to yeah, still rely on charity right. or something like Medicine Sans Frontiers, like having to. Campaign for fucking years. Yeah, exactly. But what a fucking pain in the ass that is. Yeah, right? it's like wasted yeah. everyone's time. Yeah, and, all people and then dying. millions of people are dying. Yeah. Mm. Didn't um, who's the guy that uh, came up with the polio cure? Salk. Is that his name? Salk. I know. Jonas Salk. Uh, was that what oh, the guy that guy? bought? No, 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 no. The guy that the guy that came up with like the cure of polio. Oh, polio. Okay. He um he just gave away. Right. He was just like, this is a cure for polio. Everybody okay. happy with that? Good. No more <laughs> yeah. polio. And we can tick that box of yeah. And, he, yeah. and and what what didn't happen was he didn't make like $30 billion. Right. And he didn't seem to be so bummed out about it because he just case. fucking cured polio. Yeah. Well, I mean, the U.S. went to the moon because of the government. It was because of NASA, which is a government thing, right? It wasn't like Elon Musk or some other Wait, jackass did billionaire. Though, actually? Oh mm-hmm. my god, that's, <laughs> that's for a different podcast. <laughs> I'm not sure. We're still, the flag wasn't waving, Max. Oh Jesus, Max is definitely happy. cutting this out. You know what? I'm cutting it out. <laughs> Fuck Max. The flag wasn't waving. <laughs> I got it. Was in. Was I got waving. it. In. The flag was waving. That's the thing, actually. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Yeah, that's not even the talking point. That's not even yeah. the fucking conspiracy. Exactly. The flag wasn't waving. Can I finish my point about fucking sleeping sickness, please? Oh. I'm almost done. So, the final part of this story. Mm. So, we've learned about sleeping sickness and how we could all probably definitely have it if you take naps. You probably have sleeping sickness, but you won't know for years. Yeah. Um, and if there's a but fever, if you use hair that, every, yeah, definitely you have, have it. If you have, if you have a fever every couple of months, definitely Doomed. have it. If you use hair removal cream, you stand a chance of surviving. That's essentially the whole point of everything. I'm this is the cycle. This is cycle. Like, um, climate change is a bit of a curveball. So basically, um, cl- uh, they've done some modeling. European researchers did some modeling, and they found that. Because of climate change, the regions where the parasite currently is living and thriving will become too hot very soon, and the parasite will die out in those regions. Great news! I think this is great. I Yay. think this is. I think this shows us Bring that climate, climate change, change is not that big of a deal. Thing. There's, exactly. un, there's unforeseen it will benefits kill to it. The parasite in these no regions. more tsetse flies. Ooh. Hang on a second, Brian. What? But also, <laughs> tell me more. Warm up a lot more regions, which were previously I did not too cold. You didn't see, see it that? That's it a twist. Coming. Classic twist. Classic twist. Sorry, what is this? CSI? No one knows. So, <laughs> so basically, now regions that are currently too cold will become warm enough and just right for the parasite to thrive, uh, exposing entire new areas of human and animal populations that have never before had to deal with sleeping sickness. So 
So the researchers did two scenarios. One was more extreme, one was more moderate. In the more extreme scenario, the range will expand uh, to very populated East African highlands, um, including which will mean that 76.7 million new people will be exposed to the virus. The more mellow projections say that only about 46.4 million people will be subjected to the virus by 2019. So, what do you think about that, guys? Yeah, what are your opinions on sleeping sickness? Fucking blows. Blows. Get blows. rid of it. Get rid of it. Something for everyone. That's what I say. You have a mirror for every, every child. <laughs> <laughs> Like a new government program. Oh my god! You know, like, you know, like Tom's, like buy a pair of shoes. Like, a pair of shoes goes to a right, show. Right, right, right. Be like buy and a packet, of buy a packet of Nair, and please your boy. And then instead of like, and like also like, save a child's life. Yeah. So you have the uh, you have you, you have like the Benetton ads, right? It's like the co- United Colors of Benetton or whatever. Mm. And this would be like you know that's eradicate sleeping sickness, and it's just a bunch of hairless people. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like and they're smiling. Yeah. It's like, it's a woman with her leg on the side of the bathtub, just like yeah. fucking removing the hair from her legs. I mean, it's for Africa. So no, like, say no to do it for Africa. Then if someone turns up to a date with hair on their legs, it's like wow. Yeah, that is. Do you really care about hair? Fucking you PC even man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. About all those people forced to take naps <laughs> for years. For years. Years yeah, I mean, I like a good nap. But. Yeah, but for that's years. the way I go. Then I wait. So, how do they end, like? How does their life end? Does it end in like a psychotic they just, super like, or? To death. Okay. Um, no, I don't, no, I don't think that. They just don't, I think they die. Of um, basically, pain they and just. Agony. So this was in pain and agony. So this is a quote uh, that Brian will be familiar with because of your other random research. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so a British naval surgeon. In 1734, described the disease as thus. The sleepy distemper... Can you you do it in a British accent? Okay. Here we go. Oh. The sleepy distemper gives no previous notice than a want of appetite two or three days before. The sleeps are sound and sense and feeling very little for pulling, drubbing, or whipping with scarce syrup, sense and power enough to move. I'm slurring a lot. And the moment Drunk you cease beating, captain. yeah, exactly. And the moment you cease beating, the smart is forgot, and down they fall again into a state of insensibility. Young people are more subject to it than old, and judgment is generally pronounced as death. The prognostic just seldom failing. If now and then one of them recovers, he certainly loses the little reason he had and turns idiot. 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 I'm still a little bit confused about that quote. Was it? Were they trying to beat it out of them? Is yeah, that what that like was going on? Yeah, they like hit them, like wake up, wake up, wake yeah, up, wake yeah. up, and then they just like. Why were they referencing drubbings and lashing? Drubbing, you know, drubbing. What yeah, is they, what is drubbing? They drub the shit out of them. Yeah. I think it's hitting someone in the head with a blunt object. I think it is too. I think it is too. So it's dropping them. And then, yeah, they wouldn't wake up, and then they would fucking like, they eventually have. just die. Yeah. From the dropping. Or from from the, the dropping, or from probably the disease. The disease. But he's saying, and then he's saying, like, even if you survive it, you're basically just like, fucked. Brain you know? is gone. Yeah. Just from one little, what fly? Tsetse fly. Tsetse fly. Tsetse fly. Don't they carry other diseases, too? Mm-hmm. And they probably do, the little bastards. Yes, they do. Yeah. Little bastards. A lot. <laughs> I only know that I should be afraid of them, but I don't. I learned so much today. So you used, used to be, be afraid, really afraid of, them. of them. No, I still am. Yeah, I'm you should be. <laughs> you should be yeah, more afraid. It's like, <laughs> so basically, like we were saying before, is that it's very prevalent in I think it's thirty-four African regions, but especially Uganda and Kenya, and both of those countries are quite well developed. And so it's like if you go to these particular parts of those two countries, like. 
go fuck myself, essentially. Yeah. yeah. You just, like, this fly can just give you anything. Well. And if it gives you sleeping sickness, you might not even realize for two years. You yeah. just think that you've just been kind of really tired for two years. Like mono. And you had like, sore yeah. muscles and you've been a bit confused. That's literally me every goddamn day. Sore muscles and slightly confused. That's me every day. I need a nap in the I afternoon. I need a nap. I need yeah, a yeah. nap and then I wake up in the middle of the night and mm-hmm. it's on the mess. Hey, Joe. Yeah. What's up? Um, <clears throat> I mean, that was fascinating, everything yeah. you just said. But, About uh, what we just told you. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was wow. God, who who, was who actually knew? So ground. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't so know until good. this. I feel like, um, and I, and I kind of hesitate to say this because it's going to sound a little grandiose and okay. narcissistic, and that's, not, and that's not what we're about. We're not narcissistic. We're here to help. Okay. We're here to help. Uh, opposite. I feel like. Opposite of. Opposite of help? Of narcissistic. Helping. And helping. <laughs> With her helping. Yeah. Say the thing that you're going to say. I was going to add, well, I was just going to say, like, um, I feel like in some small, in a, in a small way, we might be changing the world. Changing so the world. That's changing the world. Accurate and large. Yeah. I think we're changing the world. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so sugar facts. Sure. Yeah, what was your sugar facts? Episode one. Day? Oh. Episode um, one, sugar facts. What's your sugar facts? Go. Uh, apparently, uh, the only sense of taste that, that, that people are born with initially is the sense of sweetness. Get out. What, like a baby can't taste bitterness? Nope. What? I stand by that 100%. <laughs> I've done the research. I bet you have. Yeah. I so that the only it. taste we are born with is for sweetness. sweetness. Is that because breast milk is sweet? Do you know that? Do you know that? I that's think it's thing? I think it's sweet that, that that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've got Look, some questions. Don't delve to too deeply I've into this stuff. Some questions. Deeply. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to provide it any answer to any of these questions. <laughs> my, my sugar fact is gonna have to be swallowed. Followed. My my sugar fact will, yeah. swallowed, will be swallowed fifthly. Okay. Fifthly. Fifthly. Right. My sugar fact is going to have to be followed swiftly mm. by mm-hmm. anything else. Because I don't think it's no the right comment. tone. It's not the right tone. Just, if, you're just gonna... if I just say my fact and yeah, then there's yeah. silence, I will die. Oh, silence. God. Let's, okay, let's, let's avoid go. that. <laughs> this is the first sentence. Yeah. Maple syrup is under threat by climate change. <laughs> Maple trees rely on cold winters to turn stored starch. <laughs> don't give me the eyes, okay? It's a fucking sugar fact. Uh, maple trees rely on cold winters to turn starch into sugar, sure, sure. mixing with groundwater to create sap. The sap then inevitably becomes maple, maple syrup. syrup. So climate change is shortening the sugaring season, uh-huh. and oats researchers are saying there's been an overall reduction in maple syrup. Can't speak in maple sugar output over the 20th century. Wow. The quality of sugar is also affected. Mm-hmm. In U.S. sap, the sugar content has halved in the last 50 years <laughs> from 4% to 2%. That's why sugar fact. 4% to 2% sugar is dying, sugar is dying, sugar is dying. But interestingly, they do say the same thing as diseases. In some areas, it's becoming too hot for the sugaring season, and in other areas, it's warming up, and so they're like about to hit a boon in terms of. Well, sugaring. this is good. I mean, so what can what advice? Get your head out of those hands. <laughs> saucy, saucy Joe. Saucy, sugary Joe. <laughs> what um, advice can you give our listeners to how they can uh, avert this? Sap disaster. Uh, quit your sugar addiction because death is coming. <laughs> that is That's literally it. how we're going to end this. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. What are you called? Sugar facts? That's it. I'm in. Sugar facts. I'm already yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Already subscribed. Check, uh, where, where is my gift box? Find, find us on zero platforms. <laughs> you're going to need to take this phone with you to, to listen to it. <laughs> and then mail it back to us next week because we're going to need to record another one. <laughs> Oh,
Do you know what, Joe? We might need to buy more than one phone. Yeah, we, yeah it's going to be expensive. We're going to buy two This is really... <laughs> well, no wonder nobody fucking out. does this. It's so expensive. God, wanna... um, yeah, an outro. Yeah. Cheers yeah. to that. Guys, check facts. Episode yeah. 0.5. 0.5. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you so much for, for stopping Thank by. You. Get to the bathroom. Pee right you guys now. were great, by the way. Yeah, guys, thanks yeah. for being a great audience. There were some bits that no, we were re- irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. In fact, I know we're recording. In fact, it was so good. That might be the outro. <laughs> Just.